nearly eight plus years of experience in python environment so my experience includes design development and implementation of python and django based applications well versed in implementing different python libraries like uh, numpy cp pandas pytables matplotlib url right experience in implementing large scale business critical systems using object oriented design and programming and developing varieties of web applications implementing mvt architecture right so before i start right can anyone please confirm whether my voice is clear whether the screen is visible or not you are visible and your voice is clear sir thank, thank you uh, so as part of today's i'm just going to call discuss the following topics right so why python already we have got many programming languages why again python required and python is not a kind of technology which is very recently introduced right it was introduced like 30 years ago in the year 1989 why all of a sudden python has got or why suddenly python is super popular and who can learn python what are the prerequisites for learning python right there is no prerequisites that you need to have a knowledge on peer lab knowledge on languages like c or java anybody can update with python there is no prerequisites anybody with zero programming or non-programming can update with python so everything we'll be discussing from the scratch ground level to the advanced level here so how python was built how python was built how python was derived Python real-time applications. What kind of applications are getting developed today by using Python? Python mostly used for what kind of applications? Python usage. Who are using Python and what? which companies are using Python? And Python features and Python features compared with other programming. You can just compare this Python coding, right? With other programming languages, coding-wise, length-wise, complexity-wise, you can check how these python statements look right they look like normal english statements they are not as complex as other programmings right and reasons what are the reasons why python is suddenly super popular and the python scope and job market the scope of python means how how many years it lasts in the market means even if you get updated with any technology you are supposed to know right since how long it will be in the market that is also important and job market current job market of python right these are the things i'll be discussing today's and tomorrow session right i'll be briefing you about all these topics so first starting with why python i define python in five lines it's a general purpose programming it's a general purpose programming language multi programming features which is high level language interpretation language cross platform language and user friendly programming language so we will discuss one by one in brief first one general purpose python is a general purpose programming language see before python we have got some programming languages like pascal if you heard about this pascal fortran cobol right cobol so these languages are purpose-based languages these are used for specific purposes not for all the purposes right it's purpose-based languages like pascal used for developing scientific applications fortran for complicated mathematical applications and cobol for business applications means they are used for a specific purpose not for all the purposes right but a language which is suitable for developing any type of application such a language we call it as general purpose programming language so python is such a kind of language where any kind of applications can be developed like uh, automation applications web applications animation applications gaming applications embedded applications networking applications desktop applications right wide varieties of applications can be developed today by using python not only that python is widely used today in uh, implementing the domains of different high-end technologies right we talk like uh, data science with python like uh, big data like spark with python PySpark with uh, web applications development with this with python right and uh, writing scripts for example writing scripts in aerobase devops and uh, in iot and robotics we write like our scripts 
in python right so next like so it's a general purpose programming any kind of applications it's not purpose based language fine multi programming multi programming features right yes let me give a labor example multi programming means for example if you want to launch a new product into the market right think that you want to launch a new mobile phone into the market to attract the customers what features you want to see within it means uh, the features what we see in different other mobiles everything if you are embedding within a single piece it's going to attract the customers right in the same manner python has got the features of various other programming languages within it that's the reason we call python as a hybrid language what all the features we see in different other programming languages like c c++ java modular programming scripting right all these features you can see everything within this python and it's a high level language python is a high level language right okay <clears throat> There are two types of languages. There are two types of languages. Low-level languages. <coughs> Excuse me. There are two types of languages: low-level and high-level languages. low level languages like assembly level assembly level or machine level language these languages are not human understandable they are not human understandable right and secondly they are not portable machine dependent machine dependent right they cannot run on all the hardware and all the operating system <clears throat> they are not human understandable they are not portable and machine dependent machine dependent they cannot run on all the hardware and all the operating system high level languages right like python it's human understandable means uh, the statements of python looks like normal english statements and they are portable and machine independent they can run on all the hardware and all the operating system right <clears throat> machine independent right human understandable portable and so python is a high level language interpretation language python is an interpretation language interpretation means line by line execution we see we have got compilation languages and interpretation languages just observe this <clears throat> i got some lines of code what do you mean by compilation python is a interpretation language compilation example c language interpretation example python So in the case of C language, right? It executes the entire code at once. It executes the entire code at once and displays the errors. If you got any errors, it displays the error, that you got error in the second line or seventh line or ninth line, right? Displays the errors in which lines the error occurring, right? In case of Python, interpretation line by line execution happens. If you got error in this line, 
it won't execute the remaining statements abnormal termination terminating the program in the middle of the execution without executing up to the last statement right interpretation right line by line execution we are going to see which makes debugging easy python is a cross platform language python is a cross platform language one second one second cross platform language which can run on any platform right windows linux mac os so for linux right if anyone working in linux right using python within the linux environment no need of any separate installation right by default python comes as the inbuilt in any linux os right or uh, if you are what kind of flavor you are using linux flavor you are using whether ubuntu or send to OS or red dot linux by default you see python as inbuilt right so need of any separate installation within this linux environment so it can run on any environment right user friendly programming language or programmer friendly programming language the python syntaxes look like normal english statements they are not as complex as other programming right so i'll just uh, differentiate i'll take a code and i'll try to perform the task in multiple programming language i'll just show you python statements are not even one fourth the python coding is not even one fourth of as compared with any other programming right very less coding you see length wise you can check complexity wise you can check coding wise you can check how these python statements look as compared with other programming right <coughs> So general purpose, multi-programming features, hybrid features, high-level language, interpretation, cross-platform, user-friendly, right? Yes. Currently, like if you talk like a current industry, right? Yes. Okay. Now observe. Uh, Two major programming languages. Two major programming languages. See if you talk two major programming languages today used in the industry, right? First is like uh, Python and Java. Python and Java. These two are the major programming languages used currently for developing enterprise applications. So enterprise applications creations. <clears throat> Python and java both are used for enterprise application development right but apart from this uh, python has got a lot of other things right like uh, used it in automation applications creations gaming applications networking embedded applications right wide other varieties of applications can be created but if you talk like uh, java is never preferred for this uh, implementing data science, machine learning, deep learning, for implementing this, Java is never preferred. Python is mostly preferred for implementing these applications. <coughs> okay. Python real time application. So, here before that, like uh, Python has got the features, uh, Python as uh, Python has got multi programming features, right? Like uh, procedural oriented programming features, procedural oriented programming features. Example like uh, C language. It has got the features of object oriented programming. It has got the features of object oriented, right? Yes. So 
like uh, example C++ Java, it has got the features of C++ and Java, right? Yes. And uh, scripting features. Like uh, shell script, Linux shell script, right? And it has got the features of modular programming modular programming right yes because of this modular programming only today is a lot of boom for python you cannot see this in other programming language example of modular three <coughs> nearly <coughs> eighty-nine thousand three hundred inbuilt modules Python is providing for different environments, right? Yes. <coughs> Fine. Procedural oriented, object oriented, scripting, right? Modular programming. If you talk about this Java, right? Java or programmers or developers are strictly restricted to use only object oriented programming. Without object oriented programming, there is no Java application or program. But in Python, with object oriented, without object oriented, with procedural oriented, with modular programming, a lot of applications can be developed. And uh, we can write many kinds of scripts. If you talk like today, writing automation scripts in AWS DevOps, in robotics, right? In IoT, right? We are writing many automation scripts. And Python, Python has got great boom because of this modular programming. 89,300 inbuilt modules Python provides for various domains. Modules, just observe this, modules. Inbuilt functions we have got. No need to write huge coding by using the inbuilt modules. We can perform various operations, modules. <coughs> for data science, right? Python is providing separate modules. using which we can perform the data analysis, data predictions, classifications, clusterings, recommendations. Like we have got models like NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, CP, Scikit-learn, right? Yes. And even for <clears throat> big data environment, big data environment, right? Like we have got separate models Python is providing, right? For big data side. And even for networking, networking also Python has got modules, not only modules, a separate framework itself is provided for networking applications like Twisted Python. Twisted Python is the framework for networking applications, even for testing or test cases. For testing or test cases, Python has got right modules for it. And uh, for operating system kinds of activities for OS, OS kinds of activities. The name of the module itself is OS. Wait has got many built-in functions towards this OS kinds of activities. For every database, for every database, right? Python is providing a module. For Oracle, for Python to connect with any database, right? We require a module. So it's very simple, like Python connecting with the database, not as complex as other programming. <clears throat> means just like one or two minutes of discussion is enough right like uh, just what module is required and the connecting detail that's it and uh, for oracle we have got cx underscore oracle is the module using which python can connect with that and even for any database like mysql we have got py mysql right or mysql dot connect right to connect with this mysql database for sql server right for any database, right? For SQL Server, we've got like a PyODBC. PyODBC is the module, right, for to connect with this. And uh, if you want to work with any kind of file formats, like working with Excel files, working with uh, PDF files, working with CSV files, comma, subset values, working with JSON files, right? 
any kind of file formats right the python can have what modules using which you can read you can write data right i want to create an excel workbook by writing python statements execute it and you can go and check at whatever location with whatever file name you have provided a excel workbook excel file is going to get created okay so excel file is going to get created with whatever name you have provided right so by writing python statements only i can add sheets sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 into the excel by writing python statements and executing into sheet 2 i want to write data by writing okay i can write data into sheet 2 i can read data from sheet 3 is all we can perform by for csv files for cs for pdf files for csv files for json files right yes for any kind of file formats we have got separate models python is providing right for very for csv the name of the model itself is csv right and for pdf also we can create pdf file by writing python statements right json right for json also right javascript object notation like like key value notation right yes <clears throat> okay python real-time applications right python real-time next i'll discuss like that so not only this uh, these are some of the examples uh, where python is used right it has got modules eighty nine thousand three hundred modules for various domains not only for this computer applications for other like electronics like civil environment also python has got modules okay python real-time applications what kind of applications are going to be developed using python so today like python mostly used for developing what kind of applications means Many varieties of applications we have, right? Among that, uh, firstly, like web applications. Web applications are getting created by using Python. Just one minute, yes, give me a second, right? So today like web applications are getting developed using python you may get a query right from last 20 25 years like java.net php are mostly used for developing web applications why again python python right you have got many frameworks python has got many frameworks one of the famous frameworks like django right django is the most famous framework at a rapid speed, you can develop a web application using Django framework. It has got its own application, so it has got its own database. It has got its own database, SQLite 3. It has got its own database called as SQLite 3. Even we can connect, even we can connect and configure other database, right? Like Oracle, MySQL also. So that is what the advantage of Django framework. Not only Django, we have got many frameworks like Flask framework, Pyramid framework, Bottle framework, Turbo Gear framework. But among all this, this is the famous framework for developing web applications with Python, right? It has got many flexible features. We no need to write already inbuilt code is available. We no need to write huge coding here. And apart from that, Python today mostly used for automation applications, creations, right? Like using technologies like data science, using technology like data science right yes using like iot and robotics or aws or devops right yes so if i talk like in our creation of automation applications for example iot internet of things today if you talk like everything through online right online banking online shopping online exams online education e-learning online business e-commerce online communication like audio video charting online games online healthcare right so 
so if you talk like iot it is a physical network or device embedded with electronics software and sensors right and network connectivity for collecting data exchanging data and controlling the things from the place where we are right so many automation applications you are going to see in the coming days so totally the coding goes in in iot the coding goes in python there is a lot boom for iot with python and robotics with python right into this market and if i come to this data science total implementation goes in python right so everything deals with the data or data science right data has got experience data has got future reference using data or data science we perform like data analysis data prediction data classification data clustering data recommendations so it's a blend of techniques data science is a blend of techniques the main technique what we see is ml machine learning right machine learning so if you observe it is an approach where we provide some patterns to an application data patterns providing to an application and making it to predict in the automated fashion we will provide some data or data patterns to an application making it to predict in the automated fashion so we got many techniques available machine learning techniques like regression techniques classification clustering recommendation pattern matching right for all these techniques to implement we require a language right so python is the mostly chosen or mostly used programming for this uh, implementing ml or dl machine learning or deep learning techniques right where python is providing many modules uh, visualize for data analysis or visualizations right so python mostly used within this data science environment if i talk about this aws or devops also right not only like this uh, python serves as a remedy to any problem in the it industry right so directly or indirectly you are going to touch python in the software field so python if you talk about this aws devops it offers a structural solution in automating the tasks in every stage of devops life cycle right so i can say in python is one of the best scripting language with vast variety of libraries right which allows to write scripts for the improved development life cycle right so this so for this automation applications mostly used and apart from this web applications or automation applications right even python mostly used for this big data environment today if you talk big data right just i'll take a minute or two where exactly this python used within this big data environment means today if we talk like the data getting stored data storage units kbs of data mbs of data gbs of data terabytes petabytes exabytes zettabytes ettabytes sotabytes so on right so from tv onwards like we say like huge data that is big data right so you should have seen kbs mbs gbs or tbs but do you think like petabytes or exabytes is it getting generated in the current real world examples of petabytes of data generation one petabyte equal to 1024 tb already one tb is a large storage unit right so examples of petabytes exabytes means this many many applications are generating data in petabytes if i take just one minute a transaction right just if you take one minute transaction huge data getting generated we talk the example of facebook right in a minute how many posts and videos are getting circulated what each and every post need to be stored right what should be the storage capacity in a minute what is the data generated not in mbs or gbs petabytes of data generated not only like facebook twitter tweets or if we talk like google queries what is the data generated by google in a minute or 
if you talk like that today if you are creating your own videos and uploading in the youtube right youtube videos upload what should be the storage capacity to store all these videos millions and trillions of users using email or gmail messaging right what should be the storage capacity to store all these messages or bank transaction making transactions per hour per day per month per year each and every transaction need to be stored of every customer right even like telecom transaction e-commerce sites you have got like uh, amazon flipkart all these uh, right huge data everywhere right so for that we have got some big data tools available right you heard about like technologies like hadoop spark spark is a very high speed processing which can process huge data in quick time right so they use languages like scala python right especially like spark with scala spark with python right spark with python we call it like spy spark right it's spy spark okay apart from this i'll just list out the other various of the applications where python is mostly used python used in scientific applications scientific applications are for numerical analysis right we use models like numpy cp for this for gui graphical user interface or animation application we have got models like tk inter pyqt models available for this for gaming or game development for game development right so like uh, today like many games are getting developed using python single user multi user games right yes multi-user single user multi-user games getting developed using python especially for game development right python using a framework called pygame a framework given by python called pygame especially used for developing games in python right not only pygame one more framework given by python called like pycara for game development itself not only this we have got many 3d rendering libraries available like example like pi soy for this game development apart from this python used for scheduling tasks right scheduling tasks like we have got airflow for it python is providing and for testing or test cases for testing or test cases right for testing or test cases python is used right apart from this for scheduling task for testing or test cases for software development for software development right yes yes software developers software developers make use of python as a support language they use like we use buildbot apache gump for automated compilation testing roundup crack for project management and bug tracking right so 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 software developers make use of this python and apart from this python used for business applications business applications python is one of the best choice to develop e-commerce systems and one of the hottest application of python right database application database applications means there is without a database there is no web application so python can connect with any database like mysql oracle postgres sql right sql server all this and python used for networking application networking application set separately a framework called twisted python providing a framework called twisted python especially for networking side or network applications apart from this uh, 
python used for web scrapping web scrapping right scrapping data from different websites harvesting data from different websites extracting data right mm. audio and video applications audio and video applications okay python is also used for creating audio and video applications there's some of the famous applications which got developed using python some audio video applications like uh, you got team player c play so even as part of our course right the django web applications creations i'll be showing you some audio and video kind of applications and for com not only for this computer applications even for civil environment we have got CAD applications 3d CAD applications python is providing models and even for uh, embedded applications right embedded applications python has got modules like uh, the most famous embedded application raspberry pi raspberry pi right which uses python for its computing right apart from this like computer vision computer vision for color detection face detection and for object detection right python is mostly preferred right and for robotics for data analysis okay so these are the applications python mostly used for these applications right wide varieties of applications there is it's not purpose based it is not a purpose based language used for any kind of any of purposes right so wide varieties of applications can be developed using python so just i'll take like five more minutes like before i go with that what is that course content so like uh, who are using python today who are using python today which companies are using python and top most applications top most applications right built using python built using python so if i can say like google using python google right for its web search systems yahoo using python right youtube using python right for its video sharing service and uh, uber uber using python uber pricing algorithm implemented using python and the instagram instagram using python instagram built using python the prime reason for instagram to choose for python its practicality right of python and nasa using python for its multi as for multi programming features can use the features accordingly there are some applications like uh, uh, we got like Dropbox and uh, Quora. There are some applications, right? Which got developed using Python, Dropbox, Quora, Reddit, Pinterest. Pinterest built using Python, right? And Netflix using Python for its security automation and for subscription purpose, right? It is using models like numpy cp right bittorrent bittorrent using python for its file sharing service so maya a powerful 3d animation uses python scripting and apart from this m m o g massively multiplayer online games for online gaming right and for irobot for military and commercial applications python is preferred apart from this iron port email server product iron port email server product right it uses more than 1 million lines of code for performing this operation and companies like ibm seagate qualcomm all this they use python for hardware testing so these are some examples i've given right there are many more like uh, Python today mostly used for developing these applications. Google is one of the best example, Python web application, where that first Google, that is uh, web crawling is written in Java, but later it was so difficult, it was rewritten in 
Python, right? And from the discussion, what we had from the last one hour, right? Like uh, uh, reasons, reasons which makes reasons which makes Python suddenly super popular, right? Suddenly super popular, right? Yes. Reasons which makes Python suddenly super popular. Hmm. Any reasons, right? Try to say brief me that reasons. Like firstly, most of the programmers or developers are attracted towards Python or migrating towards Python because of its very less coding. Very less coding. You are going to see tomorrow. I'll be briefing you about this coding wise, how these Python statements look right, and uh, very less coding. Simple syntaxes given by Python, which looks like normal English statements. And uh, multi programming features, hybrid features. And Python has got interactive mode like no other language has got interactive mode. Means we can easily interact with Python statement by statement, right? Just observe this. If I go to the search panel at the bottom, type CMD and say enter. Type Python here, type Python, right? Say enter. So Python version will be displayed and the interpreter you can see, right? Here you can type any valid Python statement. Three plus four and try to interact with Python now. It gives response for you for every statement. Five into six. X as 10, Y as 20, I'm asking what is the X value? What is the Y value? X plus Y minus Y. X by Y, X into two. Power symbol means double star power 10 square 100. X equal to hello H-E-L-L-O, right? Yes x into 3 prints hello for 3 times x into 5 prints for 5 times right yes so here python we can easily interact with python statement by statement okay and wide varieties of applications just now i showed you right wide varieties of applications and uh, Many built-in libraries, many built-in libraries you got, right? Yes. Many built-in modules or libraries you got, right? So just in Python scope and job market, right? If you see like Python scope and job market. So Python is the number one ranked programming language today. Just open Google and check. Popular coding language. In 2000, right? Whatever it is, 2020, 21, 22. Python stands out for being a truly user friendly and easy to learn programming language. You can see the results for it. Okay, just see top 10 programming languages Python, JavaScript, Java. See, Python stands first here. And if you see this, uh, most popular programming languages, Python stands mostly used. If you see this right python stands first most popular programming used by top 25 unicorns if you see ranking wise python is ranked number one the rank wise language popularity of python programming python stands first usage wise if you see that uh, the percentage of usage of python in the industry currently 31% used python java 19% used currently c++ 9 c 6% and see that last 4 years the usage of python blue color next brown you can see increased next hash you can see more increase in the coming days you can see more increase in python statements and ranking by average salary and job openings you can check Python stands first in both for average salary and job openings. Right? So what is the course content I'm going to discuss as part of this course, right? So in brief, 
in detail right we'll be discussing nearly like uh, nearly 30 modules will be discussed starting from this python basic python versions advantages features installation flavors right python operations modes executions variables operators in python different types of operators python ids in real time we use ids right so not only one or two ids i'll be showing you multiple ids how to download step by step how to install and how to write the code right like uh, pycharm id jupyter spider eclipse netbeans pydev right many many ids i'm going to show you right can flow control statements looping statements strings in python <coughs> string indexing string slicing string functions string methods string special characters right collections like list tuples sets dictionaries lot of uh, discussion on this lists tuples list operations list indexing list slicing list functions list methods nested lists list modifications right similarly for tuples sets dictionaries functions in python there are types of arguments non default default keyword non keyword lambda functions reduce function map function filter function right modules in python modular programming right what is a module different types of modules how to import renaming a module reloading a module right packages in python right errors in python exceptions in python file handling in python right yes writing data to different files um, object oriented programming concepts in brief like class objects inheritance polymorphism abstraction encapsulation right so like uh, all those types of inheritance and regular expressions how to extract required data from the given data database connections right database access i'll be first showing you one installation of one database later i'll show how to connect with it how to perform various operations but writing python statements only so that reflection should happen in the database like the table creation updations everything right and python some various models i'm going to show you for different environments right for some models related to date time some models related to operating system some models related to graphics some models related to data science some models related to big data so why and some how to create our own modules right so various types of models like uh, os model date time module advanced concepts iterator generator process decorators working with csv xml json files gui programming graphic programming excel working with excel files excel workbook how to create them how to write data analytics right pandas numpy matplotlib i'll be discussing introduction to data science i'll be providing python pandas in brief numpy model in brief and the matplotlib also right in brief so this is what nearly 30 modules in brief in depth will be covered nearly like 75 to 80 hours right two and a half months the course duration so every session is a video recorded you'll be getting the recorded video also every day right if you are for example if you are if you're absent for one or two days because of ill health or because of some office work right you can just go to the video and attend the next session for the better understanding right yes clear notes will be provided topic wise yes and nearly like 250 to 300 code examples will be discussed and uh, anyone who goes for uh, web development with python for that i'm offering uh, like total like it's a kind of full stack batch uh, those who go for web development i'll be giving that uh, uh, see python will be covered for in advanced and those who go for web development django right so those who go for django the offerings from my side like uh, html will be covered css cascading style sheets part of javascript and bootstrap right we'll be discussing before i go with the django right web applications creations in django also like uh, nearly 20 to 25 applications creations you'll be doing parallel along with me and hands-on i'm using different three ids i'll show you like uh, pycharm id 
Atom ID and VS Code. In three IDs, different IDs, I'll be showing you these applications. Giving this is my free offer for my set. So those who go for Python, it's an offer batch. Set the price as like just 5k, 5, 5,000, right? And for the Django, it was previously like 8k, but now it is an offer given for 5k to take as a package both combinedly right it goes for 9k right this is so okay fine mm, so if you have got any queries you can just go with your queries now right anything related to this notorious demo or anything related to this python course fine hello yes go ahead uh good morning sir yes one second before i go right so the sessions will be like interactive sessions you will be kept in unmuted status any point of you'll keep on responding right for every statement i type you keep on responding what will be the expected output right and if you got any queries you can ask me then and there otherwise even while working later it at your home right if you got any error you can just take a snap of it and you can post it in the whatsapp group that is going to be created for you right <coughs> Yeah, go ahead with your queries now, right? Uh, uh, sir, can you please explain the uh, cross platform? So nothing but so Python can run on any platform. I mean, I mean, right? It can yeah. run on any platform, right? It can run on Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and even yeah. Python can be installed in your smartphones, and you can run your code with your smartphones also, right? So any kind of platform, it's not like a platform independent. It is irrespective of your hardware and resources, right? You can run on any hardware and any operating system, right? Fine. Thank you, sir. Mm, still any queries, right? Tomorrow also everyone can attend the session. Tomorrow and day after tomorrow to see more on this Python. And tomorrow I'll be showing you the comparison coding wise, how simple this Python statements, right? Anybody from non-programming or zero programming, right? Can just check how simple this Python statements look like. Tomorrow also, same time, using the same link, you can just attend the session to see more on this. And any more queries, right? Hi, sir. Good morning. So this is Malikarjun. So I just wanted to understand, after completing the core in advanced, Mm -hmm. Yes. Will yes. we be in a position to take the certification uh, like Microsoft or yeah, yeah, any other certification? Yeah, 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 that's what, yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what. Yeah, please. Okay. So here, people who go for certification also, right? Just I'll be, so whatever the level of our subject, right? So that's why I'm not spending like 45 or 50 hours, right? I'm spending nearly 80 hours, 75 to 80 hours, right? Where we'll be discussing many examples, codings, and I'll be providing many tasks, right? Assignments to work with. Means getting the output is not the criteria here, right? We need to we need to be in a position where we write our own code, building the code, how to build the code. I'll be giving more importance to that rather getting the output. So getting anybody can get the output means if you just take that program code, but writing your code, own code, building your own code by performing many assignments and tasks. That's what I'll be providing every week. I'll be providing some assignments tasks to work with. And um, those who go for certification, right? What is the syllabi? How this, how your performance is going to be measured there? What type of queries, what type of questions going to be asked? They'll be testing you with the core concepts, not in advanced concepts. Fine. Everything I'll be taking some separate sessions for those kind, right? <clears throat> okay. Thanks, sir. Yes, sir. yes, one second. Sunil Kumar, right. Uh, what is the syllabus going to be? Okay, you asked a query, right, previously. Yes, the syllabus I just mentioned the same thing. And you can go for web development. You will get, uh, I am saying, application development. So whatever 75 to 80 hours, whatever I am saying, it's only for Python, not for web development, not yes. for Django, right? Django, it takes separately like 45 to 50 hours, right? So separately, if you go for web development, this is the course content for Django, right? I said, I'll be giving that web technologies freely. And if you go to this Django, right? This is that Django, introduction, web frameworks, Django installation, architecture, 
then the working with the different types of IDEs, project or picture. Means you will be learning here about the entire project related things in Django, right? How to create a project folder, application folder, how to start the server, giving requests in the browser, right? So different, I mean, I'll say 20 to 25 applications, first one or two applications. Okay, but after that, you'll be get familiar with the, how to create and how to work with that, right? Applications, Django applications creations, right? And Django views, Django templates. So like we follow MVT architecture here, Django admin, Django models, advanced concepts, ORM, faker model for fake data, for testing purpose. Okay, fine, this is all right. Yes. Yeah. So this is the syllabus right that uh, Django is separately. Those who wants to go parallelly Python and Django can go right because uh, at the start, first I'll be starting with the web technologies, right? That is uh, HTML, CSS, Bootstrap before I go with Django, right? So parallelly also you can just go. Otherwise, weekdays like Python, weekends batches are there for Django. That way, otherwise after completing of Python, you can go for web development like Django, right? Yes. So you look at the end of the course, you'll be getting command on this entire Python, right? Which is many examples in Python and uh, applications creations with framework Python, right? Yeah, any more? Uh, sir, I have a one doubt. Yes. Uh, sir, for joining the Django course, uh, yes. should should we learn the uh, Python programming or the requirement of the Python program? For Django, yes. For Django means, uh, one second, total uh, MVT architecture we are going to follow. It's the, how this web page, Python, and database interaction will be seen. So uh, knowledge of Python required. But yes. uh, but parallelly, you may think uh, I'm saying, well, how can we go parallelly, right? By the time, before I go with the Django, right, I'll be discussing HTML, CSS, this JavaScript I said, right? By the time your Python core gets completed, yes. Python core completes, and after that again, uh, applications creations, Django architecture, Django first two three application, first two three three applications, right? Basic applications doesn't require much of those. By the time even like uh, sixty percent of your course gets completed, right? Yes. Fine. Later we can go ahead with that. That too in Django you won't see much coding huge coding at, at least in python you will see some kind of coding but django everything is inbuilt everything taken care by the framework just we are going to change the names right wherever required the applications creations project name application name those things and already inbuilt code is available right so that flexible options given by framework django framework right okay yeah, yeah. Uh, sir i have a question Yes. Uh, sir, I'm doing job in a uh, different rotation, like mm -hmm. uh, evening, night, and uh, morning shift. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I will not be able to attend classes. Mm -hmm. So in that case, how I'll, I'll ask my doubts? See, one thing, uh, uh, see, once you get registered with my, once you get registered with any of my course, right, yes, you can attend my, any of my batch. Not a morning batches are there, evening batches are there, right? Okay. So if you're unable to attend, you can just uh, ping me or you can just intimate me, right? So that uh, you can attend the evening or morning batch. You can shift it. If, if you've got, uh, because of job timings, sometimes it changes, you can attend morning or evening, right? Yeah. Fine. And last question, sir. Any part payment option is available for the payment? Any? Uh, any part payment option is available for payment? or I'll have to go work in a month for the 9 days. For payments, you can see in the chart panel, right? Already a posting given by this uh, online team, right? You can see in the first uh, uh, total process and procedure is given there, right? The, they kept the course content, Python course content, Python and Django course content. Fine. Mm -hmm. So do I need to contact them for that? So if total, uh, if you go for, uh, uh, like uh, Google Pay or uh, bank payment, everything the total details are provided in the chart panel. You can check, right? Yeah, I got that, sir. I was asking that uh, is there any part payment option? Uh, either I can pay in one or two times. 
that you need to talk with this operator, that front office, right? So I'll I'll, I'll, okay. I'll call the number. Thank sure. you. Thank you. Okay. Fine. Mm, any more queries? Okay. So I think I'm done with the queries. So if there are no other queries, I'll sign off for today. Meet you tomorrow, same time at seven o'clock to see more on this right? So fine. Thank you all for your time. Thank you. Uh, so time. Sunday is holiday, no? So Monday to the classes will be from Monday to Friday. Saturday and Sundays mostly I'll be having weekend batches, Django batches. Even I do handle like uh, PySpark, Spark with Python, right? PySpark batches are there. So it will be from Monday to Friday. Sometimes later, if you are running out of time, Saturdays I'll be taking some bigger sessions, right? In this pre intimating, right? Okay. Fine. Thank you, sir. Okay, fine. Thank you all for your time. Thank you. Meet you tomorrow. Okay. Have a nice day. Yeah, morning all. So sorry for the delay. So myself, I'm Vijay. I hold like 17 plus years of experience, which includes nearly eight plus years of experience in Python environment. So my experience includes design, development, and implementation of Python and Django-based applications, well-versed in implementing different Python libraries like uh, NumPy, CP, Pandas, PyTables, Matplotlib, URL, right? Experience in implementing large-scale business critical systems using object-oriented design and programming, and developing varieties of web applications implementing MVT architecture, right? So, before I start, right, can anyone please confirm whether my voice is clear, whether the screen is visible or not? You are visible and your voice is clear, sir. Fine, thank you. Sure. Uh, so as part of today's, I'm just going to call, discuss the following topics, right? So why Python? Already we have got many programming languages. Why again Python required? And Python is not a kind of technology which is very recently introduced, right? It was introduced like 30 years ago in the year 1989. Why all of a sudden Python has got, or why suddenly Python is super popular? And who can learn Python? What are the prerequisites for learning Python, right? There is no prerequisites that you need to have a knowledge on, peer level knowledge on languages like C or Java. Anybody can update with Python. There is no prerequisites. Anybody with zero programming or non-programming can update with Python. So everything we'll be discussing from the scratch, ground level to the advanced level here. So how Python was built, how Python was built, how Python was derived. Python real-time applications, what kind of applications are getting developed today by using Python? Python mostly used for what kind of applications? Python usage. Who are using Python and what which companies are using Python and Python features and Python features compared with other programming can just compare this Python coding right with other programming languages coding wise length wise complex device you can check how this Python statements look right they look like normal English statements they are not as complex as other programmings right and reasons what are the reasons why Python is suddenly super popular and Python scope and job market. The scope of Python means how, how many years it lasts in the market. Means even if you get updated with any technology, you are supposed to know, right? Since how long it will be in the market. That is also important. And job market, current job market of Python, right? These are the things I'll be discussing today's and tomorrow's session, right? I'll be briefing you about all these topics. So first, starting with why Python? I define Python in five lines. It's a general purpose programming. It's a general purpose programming language, multi programming features, which is high level language, interpretation language, cross platform language, and user friendly programming language. So it will be discussed one by one in brief. First one general purpose. Python is a general purpose programming language. See. Before Python, we have got some programming languages like Pascal. If you heard about this Pascal, Fortran, COBOL, right? COBOL. So these languages are 
purpose based languages these are used for specific purposes not for all the purposes right it's purpose based languages like pascal used for developing scientific applications fortran for complicated mathematical applications and cobol for business applications means they are used for a specific purpose not for all the purposes right but a language which is suitable for developing any type of application such a language we call it as general purpose programming language so python is such a kind of language where any kind of applications can be developed like uh, automation applications web applications animation applications gaming applications embedded applications networking applications desktop applications right wide varieties of applications can be developed today by using python not only that python is widely used today in uh, implementing the domains of different high end technologies right we talk like uh, data science with python like uh, big data like spark with python pyspark is a web applications development which is with python right and uh, writing scripts for example writing scripts in error based devops and uh, in iot and robotics we write like our scripts in python right so next like so it's a general purpose programming any kind of applications it's not purpose based language fine multi programming multi programming features right yes let me give a labor example multi programming means for example if you want to launch a new product into the market right think that you want to launch a new mobile phone into the market to attract the customers what features you want to see within it means uh, the features what we see in different other mobiles everything if you are embedding within a single piece it's going to attract the customers right in the same manner python has got the features of various other programming languages within it that's the reason we call python as a hybrid language what all the features we see in different other programming languages like c c++ java modular programming scripting right all these features you can see everything within this python and it's a high level language python is a high level language right okay <clears throat> there are two types of languages there are two types of languages low level languages <coughs> excuse me There are two types of languages: low-level and high-level languages. Low-level languages like assembly level, assembly level, or machine-level language. These languages are not human understandable. They are not human understandable, right? and secondly they are not portable and machine dependent machine dependent right they cannot run on all the hardware and all the operating system they are not human understandable they are not portable and machine dependent machine dependent they cannot run on all the hardware and all the operating system high level languages right like python it's human understandable means uh, the statements of python looks like normal english statements and they are portable and machine independent they can run on all the hardware and all the operating systems right <clears throat> no
makes him independent right human understandable portable and so python is a high level language interpretation language python is an interpretation language interpretation means line by line execution we see we have got compilation languages and uh, interpretation languages just observe this <coughs> I got some lines of code. What do you mean by compilation? Python is an interpretation language. Compilation example, C language. Interpretation example, Python. So in the case of C language, right, it executes the entire code at once. It executes the entire code at once and displays the errors. If you got any errors, it displays the error, that you got error in the second line or seventh line or ninth line, right? Displays the errors in which lines the error occurring, right? In case of Python, interpretation line by line execution happens. If you got error in this line, it won't execute the remaining statements, abnormal termination terminating the program in the middle of the execution without executing after the last statement, right? Interpretation, right? Line by line execution we are going to see, which makes debugging easy. Python is a cross-platform language. Python is a cross-platform language. One second, one second. cross-platform language which can run on any platform right windows linux mac os so for linux right if anyone working in linux right using python within the linux environment no need of any separate installation right by default python comes as the inbuilt in any linux os right or if you are what kind of flavor you are using linux flavor you are using whether ubuntu or send OS or red dot Linux. By default, you see Python as inbuilt, right? No need of any separate installation within this Linux environment. So it can run on any environment, right? User-friendly programming language or programmer-friendly programming language. The Python syntaxes look like normal English statements. They're not as complex as other programming, right? So I'll just uh, differentiate, I'll take a code and I'll try to perform the task in multiple programming language. I'll just show you. Python statements are not even one fourth, the Python coding is not even one fourth of as compared with any other programming, right? Very less coding you see, lengthwise. You can check complexity wise, you can check coding wise, you can check how these Python statements look as compared with other programming, right? <clears throat> So general purpose, multi-programming features, hybrid features, high-level language, interpretation, cross-platform, user-friendly, right? Yes. Currently, like if you talk like a current industry, right? Yes. OK. Now observe. Uh, Two major programming languages, two major programming languages. See, if you talk two major programming languages today used in the industry, right? First is like uh, Python and Java. Python and Java, these two are the major programming languages used currently for developing enterprise applications, so enterprise applications creations. <clears throat> Python and Java. Both are used for enterprise application development, right? But apart from this, uh, Python has got a lot of other things, right? Like uh, used it in 
automation applications creations, gaming applications, networking, embedded applications, right? Why other varieties of applications can be created. But if you talk like a Java is never preferred for this uh, implementing data science, machine learning, deep learning for implementing this Java is never preferred. Python is mostly preferred for implementing these applications. <clears throat> okay. Python real-time application. So here before that, like uh, Python has got the features. Uh, Python as uh, Python has got multi-programming features, right? Like uh, procedural oriented programming features, procedural oriented programming features. Example like a C language. It has got the features of object oriented programming. It has got the features of object oriented, right? Yes. Like example, C++ Java, it has got the features of C++ and Java, right? Yes. And the scripting features. Like shell script, Linux shell script, right? And it has got the features of modular programming modular programming right yes because of this modular programming only today is a lot of boom for python you cannot see this in other programming language example of modular three <coughs> <coughs> nearly <coughs> eighty-nine thousand three hundred inbuilt modules Python is providing for different environments, right? Yes. <coughs> Fine. Procedural oriented, object oriented, scripting, right? Modular programming. If you talk about this Java, right? Java or programmers are developers are strictly restricted to use only object oriented programming. Without object oriented programming, there is no Java application or program. But in Python, with object oriented, without object oriented, with procedural oriented, with modular programming, a lot of applications can be developed. And uh, we can write many kinds of scripts. If you talk like today, writing automation scripts in AWS DevOps, in robotics, right? In IoT, right? We are writing many automation scripts. And Python, Python has got great boom because of this modular programming. 89,300 inbuilt modules Python provides for various domains. Modules, just observe this, modules. Inbuilt functions we have got. No need to write huge coding by using the inbuilt modules. We can perform various operations, modules. <clears throat> for data science, right? Python is providing separate modules. using which we can perform the data analysis, data predictions, classifications, clusterings, recommendations. Like we have got models like NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, CP, Scikit-learn, right? Yes. And even for <clears throat> big data environment, big data environment, right? Like we have got separate models Python is providing, right? For the big data side. And even for networking, networking also Python has got modules. Not only modules, a separate framework itself is provided for networking applications, like Twisted Python. Twisted Python is the framework for networking applications, even for testing or test cases. For testing or test cases, Python has got right modules for it. And for operating system kinds of activities for OS, 
OS kinds of activities. The name of the module itself is OS. Wait has got many built-in functions towards this OS kinds of activities. For every database, for every database, what Python is providing a module. For Oracle, for Python to connect with any database, that we require a module. So it's very simple, like Python connecting with the database, not as complex as other programming. <clears throat> means just like one or two minutes of discussion is enough, right? Like uh, just what module is required and the connecting detail, that's it. And uh, for Oracle, we have got CX underscore Oracle is the module using which Python can connect with that. And even for any database like MySQL, we have got Py MySQL, right? Or MySQL dot connector, right? To connect with this MySQL database. For SQL server, right? <coughs> For any database, right? For SQL Server, we got like a PyODBC. PyODBC is the module, right? For to connect with this. And uh, if you want to work with any kind of file formats, like working with Excel files, working with uh, PDF files, working with CSV files, comma subset values, working with JSON files, right? Any kind of file formats. Right, the Python can have got modules using which we can read, we can write data, right? I want to create an Excel workbook by writing Python statements, execute it, and we can go and check at whatever location with whatever file name you have provided. A Excel workbook, Excel file is going to get created. Okay, so Excel file is going to get created with whatever name you have provided, right? So by writing Python statements only, I can add sheets, sheet one, sheet two, sheet three into the Excel by writing Python statements and executing. Into sheet two, I want to write data by writing, okay? I can write data into sheet two. I can read data from sheet three. This is all we can perform, right? For CSV files, for CS for PDF files, for CSV files, for JSON files, right? Yes. For any kind of file formats, we have got separate models Python is providing, right? For very for CSV, the name of the model itself is CSV, right? And for PDF files, we can create a PDF file by writing Python statements, right? json right for json also like javascript object notation like like key value notation right yes <clears throat> okay python real-time applications right python real-time next i'll discuss like that so not only this uh, these are some of the examples uh, where python is used right it has got modules eighty-nine thousand three hundred modules for various domains, not only for this computer applications, for other like electronics, like civil environment also, Python has got modules. Okay. Python real-time applications. What kind of applications are going to be developed using Python? So today, like Python mostly used for developing what kind of applications means? Many varieties of applications we have, right? Among that, uh, firstly, like web applications. Web applications are getting created by using Python. Just one minute, yes, give me a second, right? today like web applications are getting developed using python you may get a query right from last 20 25 years like java.net php are mostly used for developing web applications why again python python right you has got many frameworks python has got many frameworks one of the famous frameworks like django right django is the most famous framework at a rapid speed, you can develop a web application using Django framework. It has got its own application, so it has got its own database. It has got its own database, SQLite 3. 
it has got its own database called as SQLite 3. Even we can connect even we can connect and configure other database, right? Like Oracle MySQL also. So that is what the advantage of Django framework. Not only Django, we have got many frameworks like Flask framework, Pyramid framework, Bottle framework, Turbo Gear framework. But among all this, this is the famous framework for developing web applications with Python, right? It has got many flexible features. We no need to write already inbuilt code is available. We no need to write huge coding here. And apart from that, Python today mostly used for automation applications creations, right? Like using technologies like data science, using technology like data science, right? Yes. Using like IoT and robotics or AWS or DevOps, right? Yes. So if I talk like in our creation of automation applications, for example, IoT, Internet of Things. Today, if you talk like everything through online, right? Online banking, online shopping, online exams, online education, e-learning, online business, e-commerce, online communication, like audio, video, charting, online games, online healthcare, right? So, <clears throat> so if you talk like IoT, it is a physical network or device embedded with electronics, software, and sensors, right? And network connectivity for collecting data, exchanging data, and controlling the things from the place where we are, right? So many automation applications you are going to see in the coming days. So totally the coding goes in. In IoT, the coding goes in Python. There is a lot boom for AIoT with Python and robotics with Python, right? In today's market. And if I come to this data science, total implementation goes in Python, right? So everything deals with the data or data science, right? Data has got experience, data has got future reference. Using data or data science, we perform like data analysis, data prediction, data classification data clustering, data recommendations. So it's a blend of techniques. Data science is a blend of techniques. The main technique what we see is EML, machine learning, right? Machine learning. So if you observe, it is an approach where we provide some patterns to an application, data patterns providing to an application and making it to predict in the automated fashion. We will provide some data or data patterns to an application, making it to predict in the automated fashion. So we've got many techniques available, machine learning techniques, like regression techniques, classification, clustering, recommendation, pattern matching, right? For all these techniques to implement, we require a language, right? So Python is the mostly chosen or mostly used programming for this implementing ML or DL machine learning or deep learning techniques, right? Where Python is providing many modules uh, visualized for data analysis or visualizations, right? So Python mostly used within this data science environment. If I talk about this AWS or DevOps also, right? Not only like this uh, Python serves as a remedy to any problem in the IT industry, right? So directly or indirectly, you are going to touch Python in the software field. So Python, if you talk about this AWS DevOps, it offers a structural solution in automating the task in every stage of DevOps life cycle, right? So I can say in, uh, Python is one of the best scripting language with vast variety of libraries, right? Which allows to write scripts for the improved development life cycle, right? Yes. So this, so for this automation applications, mostly used. And apart from this web applications or automation applications, right? Even Python mostly used for this big data environment today, if you talk. Big data, right? Just I'll take a minute or two where exactly this Python used within this big data environment means. Today, if we talk like the data getting stored data storage units, KBs of data, MBs of data, GBs of data, terabytes, petabytes, 
exabytes, zettabytes, ettabytes, sottabytes, so on, right? So from TV onwards, like you say, like huge data, that is big data, right? So you should have seen KBs, MBs, GBs, or TBs. But do you think like petabytes or exabytes is it getting generated in the current real world? Examples of petabytes of data generation. One petabyte equal to 1024 TB. Already one TB is a large storage unit, right? So examples of petabytes, exabytes means this many, many applications are generating data in petabytes. If I take just one minute a transaction, right? Just if you take one minute transaction, huge data getting generated. We talk the example of Facebook, right? In a minute, how many posts and videos are getting circulated? What each and every post need to be stored, right? What should be the storage capacity? In a minute, what is the data generated? Not in MBs or GBs, petabytes of data generated. Not only like Facebook, Twitter tweets, or if you talk like Google queries, what is the data generated by Google in a minute? Or if you talk like today, if you are creating your own videos and uploading in the YouTube, right? YouTube videos upload, what should be the storage capacity to store all these videos? Millions and trillions of users using email or Gmail messaging, right? What should be the storage capacity to store all these messages? Our bank transaction, making transactions per hour, per day, per month, per year. Each and every transaction need to be stored of every customer, right? Even like telecom transaction, e-commerce sites you have got like uh, Amazon, Flipkart, all this, right? Huge data everywhere, right? So for that, we have got some big data tools available, right? You heard about like technologies like Hadoop, Spark. Spark is a very high speed processing, which can process huge data in quick time, right? So they use languages like Scala, Python, right? Especially like Spark with Scala, Spark with Python, right? Spark with Python, we call it like PySpark, right? It's PySpark. Okay, apart from this, I'll just list out the other various of the applications where Python is mostly used. Python used in scientific applications. Scientific applications are for numerical analysis, right? We use models like NumPy, CP for this. For GUI, graphical user interface or animation application, we have got models like TK Inter, PyQt models available for this. For gaming or game development, for game development, right? So like uh, today, like many games are getting developed using Python, single user, multi user games, right? Yes. One second. multi-user, single-user, multi-user games getting developed using Python. Especially for game development, right? Python using a framework called Pygame, a framework given by Python called Pygame, especially used for developing games in Python, right? Not only Pygame, one more framework given by Python called like Pycara for game development itself. Not only this, we have got many 3D rendering libraries available like example like PySoy for this game development apart from this python used for scheduling tasks right scheduling tasks like we have got airflow for it python is providing and for testing or test cases for testing or test cases right for testing or test cases python is used right apart from this for scheduling tasks for testing or test cases for software development 
for software development like this. Yes, software developers software developers make use of Python as a support language. They use like we use Billbot, Apache Gump for automated compilation testing, Roundup Crack for project management and bug tracking, right? So, so, so software developers make use of this Python. And apart from this, Python used for business applications. Business applications. Python is one of the best choice to develop e-commerce systems. And one of the hottest application of Python, right? Database application. Database applications means there is without a database, there is no web application. So Python can connect with any database like MySQL, Oracle, Postgres SQL, right? SQL Server, all this. And Python used for networking application. Networking applications set separately a framework called Twisted Python, providing a framework called Twisted Python, especially for networking side and network applications. Apart from this, uh, Python used for web scrapping, web scrapping, right? Scrapping data from different websites, harvesting data from different websites, extracting data, right? Mm. Audio and video applications, audio and video applications. So Python is also used for creating audio and video applications. There are some of the famous applications which got developed using Python. Some audio video applications like uh, you got Team Player, C Play. So even as part of our course, right, the Django web applications creations, I'll be showing you some audio and video kind of applications. And for not only for this computer applications, even for civil environment, we have got CAD applications, 3D CAD applications, Python is providing models, and even for uh, embedded applications, right? Embedded applications. Python has got modules like uh, the most famous embedded application, Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi, right? Which uses Python for its computing, right? Apart from this, like computer vision, computer vision for color detection, face detection, and for object detection, right? Python is mostly preferred, right? And for robotics, for data analysis, okay. So these are the applications Python mostly used for these applications, right? Wide varieties of applications there is. It's not purpose-based. It is not a purpose-based language used for any kind of, for any of purposes, right? So wide varieties of applications can be developed using Python. So just I'll take like five more minutes like before I go with the, what is the course content. So like the, who are using Python today? Who are using Python today? Which companies are using Python? And top most applications, top most applications, right? Built using Python. Built using Python. So if I can say like Google using Python, Google, right? For its web search systems. Yahoo using Python, right? YouTube using Python, right? For its video sharing service. And uh, Uber, Uber using Python, Uber pricing algorithm implemented using Python. And the Instagram, Instagram using Python, Instagram built using Python. The prime reason for Instagram to choose for Python, its practicality, right, of Python. And NASA using Python for its multi, as for multi-programming features, can use the features accordingly. There are some applications like, uh, uh, we got like Dropbox and uh, Cora. There are some applications, right? Which got developed using Python, Dropbox, Cora, Reddit. 
Pinterest Pinterest built using Python, right? And Netflix using Python for its security automation and for subscription purpose, right? It is using models like NumPy, CP, right? BitTorrent, BitTorrent using Python for its file sharing service. So Maya, a powerful 3D animation uses Python scripting. And apart from this, M M O G massively multiplayer online games for online gaming right and for iRobot for military and commercial applications Python is preferred. Apart from this, Iron Port email server product. Iron Port email server product right. It uses more than one million lines of code for performing this operation. And companies like IBM, Seagate, Qualcomm all this they use python for hardware testing so these are some examples i've given right there are many more like uh, python today mostly used for developing these applications google is one of the best example python web application where that first google that is uh, web crawling is written in java but later it was so difficult it was rewritten in python right and uh, from the discussion what we had from the last one hour right like uh, uh, reasons reasons which makes reasons which makes python suddenly super popular right suddenly super popular right yes reasons which makes python suddenly super popular hmm. any reasons right try to say brief me that reasons like firstly most of the programmers or developers are attracted towards python are migrating towards python because of its very less coding very less coding you are going to see tomorrow i'll be briefing you about this coding wise how these python statements look right and uh, very less coding simple syntaxes given by python which looks like normal english statements and uh, multi programming features hybrid features and Python has got interactive mode like no other language has got interactive mode. Means we can easily interact with Python statement by statement, right? Just observe this. If I go to the search panel at the bottom, type CMD and say enter. Type Python here, type Python, right? Say enter. So Python version will be displayed and the interpreter you can see, right? Here you can type any valid Python statement. Three plus four and try to interact with Python now. It gives response for you for every statement. Five into six. X as ten. Y as twenty. I'm asking what is the X value? What is the Y value? X plus Y minus Y. X by Y. X into two. Power symbol means double star power 10 square 100. X equal to hello H E L L O right? Yes. X into 3 prints hello for 3 times. X into 5 prints for 5 times right? Yes. So here Python, we can easily interact with Python statement by statement. Okay. And wide varieties of applications, just now I showed you, right? Wide varieties of applications. And many built-in libraries, many built-in libraries you got, right? Yes. Many built-in modules or libraries you got, right? So just in Python scope and job market, right? If you see like Python scope and job market. So Python is the number one ranked programming language today. Just open Google and check. Popular coding language in 2000, right? Whatever it is, 2020, Python stands out for being a truly user-friendly and easy to learn programming language. You can see the results for it. Okay, just see top 10 programming languages. Python, JavaScript, Java, Python stands first here. 
and if you see this uh, most popular programming language is Skype and Scan, mostly used. You see this, right? Python stands first most popular programming used by top 25 unicorns. If you see ranking wise, Python is ranked number one, the rank wise language. Popularity of Python programming, Python stands first usage wise. If you see that uh, the percentage of usage of Python in the industry, currently 31% used Python. Java 19% used currently. C++ 9, C 6%. And see that last four years, the usage of Python, blue color. Next, brown, you can see increased. Next, hash, you can see more increase. In the coming days, you can see more increase in Python statements. And ranking by average salary and job openings, you can check. Python stands first in both for average salary and job openings. Right? So what is the course content I'm going to discuss as part of this course, right? So in brief, in detail, right, we'll be discussing nearly like uh, nearly 30 modules will be discussed, starting from this Python basic, Python versions, advantages, features, installation, flavors, right? Python operations, modes, executions, variables, operators in Python, different types of operators. Python IDs, in real time we use IDs, right? So not only one or two IDs, I'll be showing you multiple IDs, how to download step-by-step, step, how to install and how to write the code, right? Like uh, PyCharm ID, Jupyter, Spider, Eclipse, NetBeans, PyDev, right? Many, many IDs I'm going to show you, right? can flow control statements, looping statements, strings in Python, <coughs> string indexing, string slicing, string functions, string methods, string special classes, right? Collections like list, tuples, sets, dictionaries. Lot of discussion on this lists, tuples, list operations, list indexing, list slicing, list functions, list methods, nested lists, list modifications, right? Similarly for tuples, sets, dictionaries, functions in Python, there are types of arguments, non-default, default, keyword, non-keyword, lambda functions, reduce function, map function, filter function, right? Modules in Python, modular programming, right? What is a module, different types of modules, how to import, renaming a module, reloading a module, right? Packages in Python, right? Errors in Python, exceptions in Python file handling in python right yes writing data to different files um, object oriented programming concepts in brief like class objects inheritance polymorphism abstraction encapsulation right so like uh, all those types of inheritance and regular expressions how to extract required data from the given data database connections right database access I'll be first showing you one installation of one database. Later, I'll show how to connect with it, how to perform various operations. By writing Python statements only, so that uh, reflection should happen in the database, like a table creation, subdations, everything, right? And Python, some various models I'm going to show you for different environments, right? For some models related to date time, some models related to operating system, some models related to graphics, some models related to data science, some models related to big data. So why uh, some how to create our own modules, right? So various types of models like uh, OS module, data and module, advanced concepts, iterator, generator, closures, decorators, working with CSV, XML, JSON files, GUI programming, graphic programming. Excel working with Excel files, Excel workbook, how to create them, how to write. Data analytics, right? Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib, I'll be discussing. Introduction to data science I'll be providing. Python, Pandas, in brief, NumPy model in brief, and the Matplotlib also, right, in brief. So this is what nearly 30 models in brief in depth will be covered, nearly like 75 to 80 hours, right? Two and a half months, the course duration, so. 
every session is a video recorded you'll be getting the recorded video also every day right if you are for example if you are if you're absent for one or two days because of ill health or because of some office work right you can just go to the video and attend the next session for the better understanding right clear notes will be provided topic wise okay and nearly like 250 to 300 code examples will be discussed and uh, anyone who goes for uh, web development with python for that i'm offering uh, like total like it's a kind of full stack batch uh, those who go for web development i'll be giving that uh, uh, see python will be covered for in advanced and those who go for web development django right so those who go for django the offerings from my side like uh, html will be covered css cascading style sheets part of javascript and bootstrap right we'll be discussing before i go with django right web applications creations in django also like uh, nearly 20 to 25 applications creations you'll be doing parallel along with me and hands-on i'm using different three ids i'll show you like uh, pycharm id autumn id and vs code and three ids different ids i'll be showing you these applications giving this is my free offer for my side so those who go for python it's an offer batch set the price as like just 5k 5 5000 right and for django it was previously like 8k but now it is an offer given for 5k to take as a package both combinedly right it goes for 9k right this is so okay fine mm. So if you have got any queries, you can just go with your queries now, right? Anything related to this so today's demo or anything related to this Python course. Fine. Hello. Yes, go ahead. Uh, good morning, sir. Yes, one second before I go, right? So the sessions will be like interactive sessions. You will be kept in unmuted status. Any point of, you will keep on responding, right? For every statement I type, you keep on responding. What will be the expected? right and, and if you got any queries you can ask me then and there otherwise even while working later it at your home right if you got any error you can just take a snap of it and you can post it in the whatsapp group that is going to be created for you right <clears throat> yeah go ahead with your queries now right uh, uh sir can you please explain the uh, cross platform so nothing but so python can run on any platform i mean i mean right it can yeah. run on any platform like it can run on windows linux mac os and even yeah. python can be installed in your smartphones and you can run your code with your smartphones also right so yes. any kind of platform it's not like a platform independent it is irrespective of your hardware and resources right can run on any hardware and any operating system, right? Fine. Thank you, sir. Mm, still any queries, right? Tomorrow also everyone can attend this session. Tomorrow and day after tomorrow to see more on this Python. And tomorrow I'll be showing you the comparison coding wise, how simple this Python statement is, right? Anybody from non-programming or zero programming, right? Can just check how simple this Python statements look, right? Tomorrow also, same time, using the same link, you can just attend the session to see more on this. And any more queries, right? Hi, sir. Good morning. So this is Malikarjun. So I just wanted to understand, after completing the core in advanced, mm -hmm. yes, will yes. we be in a position to take the certification uh, like Microsoft or yeah, any yeah, other that's, certifications? Yeah, 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 that's what, yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what. Yeah, please. Okay. So here, people who go for certification also, right? Just I'll be so whatever the level of our subject, right? So that's why I'm not spending like 45 or 50 hours, right? I'm spending nearly 80 hours, 75 to 80 hours, right? Where we'll be discussing many examples, codings, and I'll be providing many tasks, right? Assignments to work with. Means getting the output is not the criteria here, right? We need to we need to be in a position where we write our own code, building the code. How to build the code i'll be giving more importance to that rather getting the output so getting anybody can get the output means if you just take that program code 
but writing your own code, building your own code by performing many assignments and tasks. That's what I'll be providing. Every week I'll be providing some assignments tasks to work with. And um, those who go for certification, right? What is the syllabi, how, this, how your performance is going to be measured there? What type of queries, what type of questions going to be asked? They'll be testing you with the core concepts, not in advanced concepts. Fine, everything I'll be taking some separate sessions for those kind, right? <clears throat> okay, thanks, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, one second. Sunil Kumar, right? Uh, what is the syllabus going to be? Okay, you asked a query, right? Previously, yes, the syllabus I just mentioned the same thing. And you can go for web development, you will get the I am saying application development. So, whatever 75 to 80 hours, whatever I am saying, it's only for Python, not for web development, not for Django, right? Django, it takes separately like 45 to 50 hours, right? So, separately, if you go for web development, this is the course content for Django, right? I said I'll be giving that web technologies freely. And if you go to this Django, right? This is that Django introduction web framework django installation architecture that working with uh, different types of ides project architecture means you will be learning here about the entire project related things in django right how to create a project folder application folder how to start the server giving requests in the browser right so different uh, i'll say 20 to 25 applications first one or two application okay but after that you will be get familiar with uh, how to create and how to work with that right applications django applications creations right and the django views the django templates so like we follow mvt architecture here the django admin the django models advanced concepts ORM, faker model for fake data for testing purpose okay fine this all right yes yeah so this is the syllabus right that uh, Django is separately. Those who wants to go parallelly, Python and Django can go right because uh, at the start, first I'll be starting with the web technologies, right? That is uh, HTML, CSS, Bootstrap. Before I go with Django, right? So parallelly also you can just go. Otherwise, weekdays like Python weekends batches are there for Django. That way, otherwise after completing of Python, you can go for web development like Django, right? Yes. So you look at the end of the course, you'll be getting command on this entire Python, right? With these uh, many examples in Python and uh, applications creations with framework for that, right? Yeah, any more? Uh, sir, I have a one doubt. Yes. Uh, sir, for joining the Django course, uh, yeah. should should we learn the uh, Python programming or the requirement of the Python program? For Django, yes. For Django means, uh, one second, total uh, MVT architecture we are going to follow. It's just how this web page, Python, and database interaction will be seen. So uh, knowledge of Python required. But uh, but parallelly, you may think I'm saying, well, how can we go parallelly, right? By the time, before I go with the Django, right, I'll be discussing HTML, CSS, this JavaScript, etc. right? By the time your Python core gets completed, yes, Python core completes, and after that again, uh, applications creations, Django architecture, Django first two three application, first two three three applications, right? Basic applications doesn't require much of those. By the time even like uh, sixty percent of your course gets completed, right? Yes, fine. Later you can go ahead with that. That too in Django you won't see much coding huge coding at, at least in python you will see some kind of coding but django everything is inbuilt everything taken care by the framework just we are going to change the names right wherever required the applications creations project name application name those things and already inbuilt code is available right so that flexible options given by framework django framework right okay yeah, yeah. Uh, sir i have a question yes uh, sir i'm doing job in a uh, different rotation mm -hmm. like uh, evening night and uh, morning shift mm -hmm. sometimes i will not be able to attend classes mm -hmm. so in that case how i'll i'll 
ask my doubts. See, one thing, uh, uh, see, once you get registered with my, once you get registered with any of my course, right? Yes, you can attend my, any of my batch. Not the morning batches are there, evening batches are there, right? Okay, so if you are unable to attend, you can just uh, ping me or you can just intimate me, right? So that uh, you can attend the evening or morning batch. You can shift it. If, if you got, uh, because of job timings, sometimes it changes. You can attend morning or evening, right? Yeah. Uh, Attend and last question, sir. Any part payment option is available for the payment? Any? Uh, any part payment option is available for payment? Or I'll have to go work in a month for the 9K? For payments, you can still see in the chart panel that already a posting given by this uh, online team, right? You can see in the first uh, uh, total process and procedure is given there, right? The, they kept the course content, Python course content, Python and Django course content. Fine. Mm. So do I need to contact them for that? So if total, uh, if you go for uh, uh, like uh, Google Pay or uh, bank payment, everything the detail details are provided in the chart panel. You can check, right? Yeah, I got that, sir. I was asking that uh, is there any part payment option? Uh, either I can pay in one or two times. That you need to talk with this uh, office, that front office, right? So sure, I'll I'll call the number. Thank sure. you. Thank you. Okay, fine. Mm, any more queries? Okay. So I think I'm done with the queries. So if there are no other queries, I'll sign off for today. Meet you tomorrow, same time at seven o'clock to see more on this, right? So fine. Thank you all for your time. Thank you. Uh, so Sunday is holiday, no? So Monday to the classes will be from Monday to Friday. Saturday and Sundays mostly I'll be having weekend batches, Django batches. Even I do handle like uh, by Spark, Spark with Python, right? By Spark batches are there. So it will be from Monday to Friday. Sometimes later, if you are running out of time. Saturdays I'll be taking some bigger sessions, right? 